Um, we don't know at present who the Prime Minister of this country will be in three months' time. Um, we don't know the, the timetable for leaving Europe. Mm -hmm. We don't know the terms on which we are going to leave Europe. Mm -hmm. We're all sitting here at the moment thinking that we should do things, mm -hmm. but nobody knows what to do yeah. <laughs> because of the uncertainties. Mm -hmm. So we're looking at each other at the moment saying, well, surely we should be doing something. Mm -hmm. But other than making sure everything is stable, mm -hmm. which it is, we have great stability in this country, mm -hmm. nobody is quite sure what to do next. Mm -hmm. So we all want to see firm, firm direction mm -hmm. established as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. um, we want to see the process of choosing a new prime minister mm -hmm. completed as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. We want that new prime minister, whether it's a, a man or a woman, establishes their credentials and establishes security of stability as quickly as possible so that things can start coming back to back to normal. What has the government said thus far to reassure the industry that you know a plan will be in place because you're not going to have the new prime minister till early September. The EU leaders have indicated you know get come back with a new prime minister with a new leader and then we'll uh, you know get talking so no negotiation still notification right um, but you know what do you think uh, the business community wants to hear from uh, uh, the conservative party right now? We want them to get on with electing a new leader. The only thing that we—that's not happening uh, before uh, September. No, but of course, without right? without leadership, you have no sense of direction. Mm -hmm. um, so the instructions at the moment are really quite simple: keep on smiling. So we will keep on. We will keep on smiling, mm -hmm. um, and you can you can um, you can envisage a very positive outcome in in due course. Mm -hmm. um, but we have just lived through a revolution here. Um, it's no more, no less than a revolution. Mm -hmm. um, the people have decided, mm -hmm. and we absolutely respect the will of the people, mm -hmm. um, but the people have decided something that the establishment and the business establishment did not expect. Right. Now, like many revolutions, it takes time for the effect to, um, to work through. Mm -hmm. What did Chow and Lai say in China when he was looking at the French Revolution, which had happened a hundred years before? He, was, he said it's too early to say what the results are mm -hmm. of it. And certainly a week into this, it is far too early to say what the results of this are going to be. Okay. You know, the markets have rebound after two panic uh, selling days uh, on the street. Uh, uh, the pound has stabilized a bit uh, after hitting a 30-year low. Do you think there's a sense in the markets, and I've heard murmurs and rumors and, you know, there being a lot of uh, conjecture about how there could be a proxy uh, second referendum in the general election with a pro-EU party coming to power, uh, and that may just diminish, uh, you know, the result that has uh, come out right now. Is there that sense as well that, you know, six months down the line, th this might be just another chapter in the same book uh, with a reworked deal, a con you know, a deal with more concessions, but really not a divorce? Um, I'm afraid I think this wishful thinking that some people seem to have, and it tends to be those people who lost the referendum, that there's going to be another referendum, mm -hmm. is no more, less, no more, no less than wishful thinking. Mm -hmm. The country has decided. Mm -hmm. The country has, has spoken. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.